we have had lots and lots of questions from all of you watching wherever you are. Um, we won't have time to go through all of them, unfortunately, but we'll do as many as we can. But we're going to start with a couple of questions from some people here from Castle Milk High School, beginning in the front row at this side, and a question from Zoe, who's going to wait brilliantly till the microphone hovers above her. <laughs> and here she is. Um, what is your favourite prime number? Uh. <laughs> what is your favourite prime um, number? Right, 31's a prime number. When I was at school, we all had a peg number. My peg number was 31, and I've always liked it for that very silly reason. But, uh, but my actual favourite one is this thing called the Sudoku Prime. It's hard to explain, but you know Sudoku puzzles with yeah. the 9 by 9 box? The number of different possible Sudoku puzzles that can be invented is a phenomenally huge number. But to calculate that number, they had to work out uh, something like a 15-digit prime number. Where it came from, I don't know. It's just mind-boggling. Uh, sorry to keep plugging it, but look at the Murder's Mass website. If type in Sudoku Prime and it comes up, and you sit there thinking, that's just daft. You know, but I love it because it's just so... What's the point of that? And that's sometimes why I like maths, so there we are. Sorry yeah. about that. A very complicated answer for what should have been a simple question. That's there a good answer. <laughs> but I'm surprised you haven't memorised the number. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I can remember some big numbers now. <laughs> In fact, I think there's an answer coming up in a minute with a bit of luck. If somebody right. asks the right question, uh -huh. I'll tell you one. We shall see. <laughs> now, we've got a young gentleman uh, towards the centre aisle, two away. This is Luke. Hi, Luke. What's your question? Have you written any other type styles of books? Have I written any other styles of books? Uh, I have. The first books I had published, I wrote four Rosie and Jim annuals. How cool is that? Ooh. Be honest. You know, sitting there going, uh, <laughs> like that. I did. I used to write a lot for Rosie and Jim. Uh, I've got five stage plays, stage musicals published. One of them, Henry the Tudor Dude. I know it's been performed up here quite often by schools. Um, novels, there were spin-off novels from the Murderous Mass books, um, the Ergum, the Axman novels. And if I'm allowed to mention it, this is my newest one. Agatha Parrott. It's really... Uh, I've got four daughters, and uh, they're just about to finish through primary school. But it's basically about kids in primary school, the little kids and all the adventures they get up to. And Agatha Parrott, that, that's uh, a comedy book for kids, so it's not mass. It's to do with the fact that one of them goes off sick and they have to pretend that she's in school. So they make a dummy. They borrow <laughs> a coat and trousers and stuff it with a pillow and try and pass her off all day in school as this dummy. And basically the head floats away and everybody freaks. So there you go. I have written other books. Oh, I've written magic books. I've written a book about space... Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. Uh, yeah. Have I written other books? Yes, that's the quick answer, but thanks good for question, asking. Good question, good question, and great answer. <laughs> Started me Thank off that bloke, he did. Yeah, he did. Thank <laughs> you very much, Luke. All right. Um, now, we have a question from Cleesh Primary in Perth and Kinross. Hi there. This is from Primary 5 from Charlotte, so I hope you're watching, Charlotte. And this question is, what is your favourite maths problem? My favourite maths problem? I do have an answer to this one. Cameraman, can you just follow me to the board? I've got to show you this because it's absolutely daft. It's so daft. OK. Murderous mass, you think murder, is it involving you know, killing and death and swords? It actually, most of it involves messing with your brain. And I want you to imagine you've got a chessboard, OK? And a chessboard has got 64 squares on it, OK? Ooh, I'll just do it very, very quickly. Do you know, that's very neat by my standards. You've got a box of dominoes, and each domino will cover exactly two squares of the chessboard. So that's the sort of domino size. So if there's 64 squares, you'll need 32 dominoes to cover the board. Here's the problem. Somebody must have asked themselves this, and I bet they didn't sleep for a month until they got it right. How many ways can you put the dominoes on the board? And the answer is 12,988,816. Somebody worked that out. Give them a clap. Isn't that amazing? It's my favourite math problem. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. There you are. A bit of Thank a weird you. answer, but I love that number because somebody went bonkers working that out. Thank Brilliant. you very much, Cleesh Primary. We've got to go faster. Sorry, Racing it's my through fault. Them. Okay, this is from Darren in Borough Primary in Rutherglen, in Glasgow. Hi there. Uh, why, after doing an engineering degree, did you decide to become an author? Because I wanted to be a comedian and I was trying to write some material and jokes. And then when I found I could get it published, I suddenly realised the sheer joy of going and feeling a copy of your book and being able to give one to your mum as a present is more fun than standing on stage with people shouting at you saying, you're awful, get off. Brilliant. So that's why I became an author and I love it. OK, let's see how quickly we can do these. Who was the most important mathematician in history? Asked Torren from Portel in primary on the Isle of Isla. What? Well, 
Probably Pythagoras, I think. That is a very, very tough question because masses, thousands of people contributed to it. But Pythagoras, when I've written my books, was probably the most interesting guy because he was slightly mad as well. Very, very clever guy, though. This is a terrific question from Greenhill Primary, Coatbridge in Glasgow, the Primary 7 class. Great question from all of them. What sort of things could we do in our spare time to enhance our maths knowledge? Ooh, maths knowledge. It depends what you like. What's important, though, is if you go into a shop and buy something, work out how much change you should get before <laughs> you pay for it. It's always a good way of getting those numbers going in your head.